Usually when a city decides to upgrade storm drains or sewage pipes, it's welcomed by the neighborhood. But some people in West Vancouver are not happy with a major infrastructure project. That's where we find Greg Harper this morning. Greg, what can you tell us? Well, good morning, Mary. Uh, here at the uh, foot of 31st Street in West Vancouver, a gorgeous view here behind me. And this is where this large uh, stormwater pipe will be put in. And this is where water will flow from the creeks should those creeks uh, overflow during a, a very large storm. So one would think this is uh, something that the neighborhood would welcome, uh, the potential risk of flooding put to rest. But the residents that you can see right here now, uh, they've been here since, uh, well, early this morning, they are not happy about this project. They have a number of concerns. We'll get to that in just a second, but more on this uh, project. The district is planning to build a stormwater pipe that will run from the upper levels highway all the way down Westmont Road to the foot of 31st Street. The goal is to divert excess water from the creeks and have it safely flow into the ocean. The district says the work is mandatory to protect more than 800 properties from potential flooding during heavy storms. But the group Save West Vancouver Vancouver's creeks wants, wants the project to be stopped. They have environmental concerns. Uh, they, they believe there's better options here. And organizers have launched a petition to put pressure on the city to stop the project. Essentially, we've asked, uh, put forward three requests. One is to immediately halt the project. This came to life just over a month ago after years in the planning. Uh, the second thing that we've asked for is proper and full consultation. There's tremendous impact here on the residents. There's impact on the ecology, uh, the creeks, the riparian zones, the foreshore zones. And thirdly, we've asked uh, council and their professionals to come up with alternatives. So the goal of the petition was to get roughly 500 signatures. One protester tells me they have surpassed 600. Now the plan is to take that petition to council, and hopefully then the district will reconsider this project. Mary, over to you. All right.